Although various forms of internal combustion engines were developed before the 19th century, their use was hindered until the commercial drilling and production of petroleum began in the mid-1850s. By the late 19th century, engineering advances led to their widespread adoption in a variety of applications. Timeline of development Various scientists and engineers contributed to the development of internal combustion engines, prior to 1860. Third century, the earliest evidence of a crank and connecting rod mechanism dates to the 3rd century AD Hierapolis saw mill in Asia Minor as part of the Roman Empire. Fifth century, Roman engineers documented several crankshaft connecting rod machines used for their saw mills. Ninth century, the crank appears in the mid-9th century in several of the hydraulic devices described by the Barnum Azar brothers in their book of ingenious devices. In 1206, Al Jazari invented an early crankshaft, which he incorporated with a crank connecting rod mechanism in his twin cylinder pump. Like the modern crankshaft, Al Jazari's mechanism consisted of a wheel setting several crank pins into motion, with the wheel's motion being circular and the pins moving back and forth in a straight line. The crankshaft described by Al Jazari transforms continuous rotary motion into a linear reciprocating motion. 17th century. Christian Huygens designs gunpowder to drive water pumps, to supply 3,000 cubic meters of water day for the Versailles Palace Gardens, essentially creating the first idea of a rudimentary internal combustion piston engine. 1780s, Alessandro Volta built a toy electric pistol in which an electric spark exploded a mixture of air and hydrogen, firing a cork from the end of the gun. 1791. John Barber receives British patent number 1833 for a method for rising inflammable air for the purposes of producing motion and facilitating metallurgical operations. In it he describes a turbine. 1794, Robert Street built a compressionless engine whose principle of operation would dominate for nearly a century. 1807, Nika copyright for Nia copyright PCE installed as MOS. Coal dust and resin fueled Pira copyright Ola for internal combustion engine in a boat and powered up the river Saulnier in France. A patent was subsequently granted by Emperor Napoleon Bonaparte on July 20, 1807. 1807 Swiss engineer from a section Y. Isaac de Rivers built an internal combustion engine powered by a hydrogen and oxygen mixture, and ignited by electric spark. 1823 Samuel Brown patented the first internal combustion engine to be applied industrially. It was compressionless and based on what Hardenberg calls the Leonardo cycle, which, as the name implies, was already out of date at that time. 1824, French physicist Sadi Carnot established the thermodynamic theory of idealized heat engines. April 1, 1826, American Samuel Morey received a patent for a compressionless gas or vapour engine. 1833, Lemuel Wellman Wright, UK Patent 6525, Table Type Gas Engine. Double Acting Gas Engine, First Record of Water Jacketed Cylinder. 1838, a patent was granted to William Barnett. According to Dugout Clark, this was the first recorded use of an cylinder compression. 1853-57, Eugenio Barsanti and Felis Matrucci invented and patented an engine using the free piston principle that was possibly the first four-cycle engine. 1856, in Florence at Fonderia del Pignone, Pietro Benini realized a working prototype of the Italian engine supplying five horsepower. In subsequent years he developed more powerful engines a euro with one or two pistons a euro, which served as steady power sources replacing steam engines. 1857, Eugenio Barsanti and Felice Matrucci described the principles of the free piston engine where the vacuum after the explosion allows atmospheric pressure to deliver the power stroke. Otto and Langen were the first to make a marketable engine based on this concept ten years later. 1860-1920-1860, Belgian Jean-Joseph Etienne Lenoir produced a gas-fired internal combustion engine similar in appearance to a horizontal double-acting steam engine, with cylinders, pistons, connecting rods, and flywheel in which the gas essentially took the place of the steam. This was the first internal combustion engine to be produced in numbers. 
1861 the earliest confirmed patent of the four-cycle engine, by Alphonse Beau de Roches. A year earlier, Christian Reithman made an engine which may have been the same, but it's unknown since his patent wasn't clear on this point. 1862, the German Nikolaus Otto begins to manufacture a gas engine. Actually, it was a no-compression Lenoir engine with a free piston. 1863, Nikolaus Otto, patented in England and other countries his first atmospheric gas engine. Otto was the first to build and sell this type of compressionless engine designed with an indirect acting free piston, whose great efficiency won the support of Eugen Langen and then most of the market, which at that time was mainly for small stationary engines fueled by lighting gas. Eugen Langen collaborated with Otto in the design and they began to manufacture it in 1864. 1865, Pierre Hugon started production of the Hugon engine, similar to the Lenoir engine, but with better economy, and more reliable flame ignition. 1867, Otto and Langen exhibited their free piston engine at the Paris exhibition in 1867, and they won the greatest award. It had less than half the gas consumption of the Lenoir or Hugon engines. 1870, in Vienna, Siegfried Marcus put the first mobile gasoline engine on the handcart. 1872, in America George Brayton invented Brayton's ready motor and went into commercial production, this used constant pressure combustion, and was the first commercial liquid-fueled internal combustion engine. 1876, Nikolaus Otto, working with Gottlieb Daimler and Wilhelm Maybach, started the genesis of the four-cycle engine. The German quartz however, did not hold his patent to cover all in-cylinder compression engines or even the four-stroke cycle, and after this decision, in-cylinder compression became universal. 1878, Doug Eld Clark designed the first two-stroke engine with in-cylinder compression. He patented it in England in 1881. 1879, Carl Benz, working independently, was granted a patent for his internal combustion engine, a reliable two-stroke gas engine, based on the same technology as de Roches's design of the four-stroke engine. Later, Benz designed and built his own four-stroke engine that was used in his automobiles, which were developed in 1885, patented in 1886, and became the first automobiles in production. 1882, James Atkinson invented the Atkinson cycle engine. Atkine saw a Euro 1 registered trademark S engine had one power phase per revolution together with different intake and expansion volumes, potentially making it more efficient than the Otto cycle, but certainly avoiding Otto's patent. 1884, British engineer Edward Butler constructed the first petrol internal combustion engine. Butler invented the spark plug, ignition magneto, coil ignition and spray jet carburetor, and was the first to use the word petrol. 1885, German engineer Gottlieb Daimler received a German patent for a supercharger. 1889, far copyright Lix Millet begins development of the first vehicle to be powered by a rotary engine in transportation history. 1891, Herbert Ackroyd Stewart built his oil engine, leasing rights to Hornsby of England to build them. They built the first cold start compression ignition engines. In 1892, they installed the first ones in a water pumping station. In the same year, an experimental higher pressure version produced self sustaining ignition through compression alone. 1892, Rudolf Diesel developed his car nut heat engine type motor. 1887, Gustave de Laval introduces the de Laval nozzle. February 23, 1893, Rudolf Diesel received a patent for his compression ignition engine. 1896, Carl Benz invented the boxer engine, also known as the horizontally opposed engine, or the flat engine, in which the corresponding pistons reach top dead center at the same time, thus balancing each other in momentum. 1898, Fay Oliver Farrell designs the prototype of the line of Adams Farrell automobiles, all to be powered with three or five cylinder rotary internal combustion engines. 1900 Rudolf Diesel demonstrated the diesel engine in the 1900 exposition in Iver Cell using peanut oil fuel. 1900, Wilhelm Maybach designed an engine built at Daimler Motor Range Zellschaft Euro following the specifications of Emil Jelinek Euro, 
who required the engine to be named Daimler Mercedes after his daughter. In 1902 automobiles with that engine were put into production by DMG. 1903, Konstantin Tsiolkovsky begins a series of theoretical papers discussing the use of rocketry to reach outer space. A major point in his work is liquid-fueled rockets. 1903, Egidius Elling builds a gas turbine using a centrifugal compressor which runs under its own power. By most definitions, this is the first working gas turbine. 1905 Alfred Bucci patents the turbocharger and starts producing the first examples. 1903-1906, the team of Armgord and Lamel in France build a complete gas turbine engine. It uses three separate compressors driven by a single turbine. Limits on the turbine temperatures allow for only a 3 to 1 compression ratio, and the turbine is not based on a Parsons-like fan, but a Pelton wheel-like arrangement. The engine is so inefficient, at about 3% thermal efficiency, that the work is abandoned. 1908, New Zealand inventor Ernest Godwood started a motorcycle business in Invercargill and fitted the imported bikes with his own invention a Euro a petrol economizer. His economizers worked as well in cars as they did in motorcycles. 1908, Hans Holzeth starts work on extensive research on an explosive cycle gas turbine, based on the auto cycle. This design burns fuel at a constant volume and is somewhat more efficient. By 1927, when the work ended, he has reached about 13% thermal efficiency. 1908, Rena copyright Lauren patents a design for the ramjet engine. 1916, August Ratto suggests using exhaust-powered compressors to improve high-altitude performance, the first example of the turbocharger. 1920-1980 1920, William Joseph Stern reports to the Royal Air Force that there is no future for the turbine engine in aircraft. He bases his argument on the extremely low efficiency of existing compressor designs. Due to Stern's eminence, his paper is so convincing there is little official interest in gas turbine engines anywhere, although this does not last long. 1921, Maxime Guillaume patents the axial flow gas turbine engine. It uses multiple stages in both the compressor and turbine, combined with a single very large combustion chamber. 1923, Edgar Buckingham at the United States National Bureau of Standards publishes a report on jets, coming to the same conclusion as W. J. Stern, that the turbine engine is not efficient enough. In particular he notes that a jet would use five times as much fuel as a piston engine. 1925, the Hesselman engine is introduced by Swedish engineer Jonas Hesselman represented the first use of direct gasoline injection on a spark ignition engine. 1925, Wilhelm Pate patents a constant volume engine design. 1926, Alan Arnold Griffith publishes his groundbreaking paper Aerodynamic Theory of Turbine Design, changing the low confidence in jet engines. In it he demonstrates that existing compressors are flying stalled, and that major improvements can be made by redesigning the blades from a flat profile into an airfoil, going on to mathematically demonstrate that a practical engine is definitely possible and showing how to build a turboprop. 1926, Robert Goddard launches the first liquid-fueled rocket, 1927, Oral Stodler publishes his steam and gas turbines basic reference for jet propulsion engineers in the USA. 1927, a testbed single-shaft turbocompressor based on Griffith's blade design is tested at the Royal Aircraft Establishment, 1929, Frank Whittle's thesis on jet engines is published, 1930, Schmidt patents a pulse jet engine in Germany, 1935, Hans von Owen creates plans for a turbojet engine and convinces Ernst Hinkel to develop a working model. Along with a single mechanic von Owen develops the world's first turbojet on a test stand. 1936, French engineer Rena copyright Legic, having independently rediscovered Rena copyright Lorin's design, successfully demonstrates the world's first operating ramjet. 1937, the first successful run of Sir Frank Whittle's gas turbine for jet propulsion. March, 1937. The Hinkle HES-1 experimental hydrogen-fueled centrifugal jet engine is tested at Earth. August 27, 1939, 
flight of the world's first turbojet power aircraft. Hans von Oehnsi Inkel He 178B1 Pioneer turbojet aircraft prototype makes its first flight, powered by an He S3 von Oehn engine. May 15, 1941, the Gloucester E28-39 becomes the first British jet-engined aircraft to fly, using a power jet's W1 turbojet designed by Frank Whittle and others. 1942, Max Bentel discovers in Germany that turbine blades can break if vibrations are in its resonance range, a phenomenon already known in the USA from the steam turbine experience. July 18, 1942, the Messerschmitt Me 262 first jet engine flight, 1946, Sam Balin develops the Balin engine a three-cycle internal combustion engine with rotary pistons. A crude but complex example of the future Wankel engine. In the early 1950s engineers for the Texas Campania Euro that is now Chevrona Euro developed a four-stroke engine with a fuel injector that employed what was called the Texco combustion process which unlike normal four-stroke gasoline engines which used a separate valve for the intake of the air-gasoline mixture, with the TCP engine the intake valve with a built-in special shroud delivers the air to the cylinder in a tornado-type fashion that then the fuel is injected and ignited by a spark plug. The inventors claim their engine could burn on almost any petroleum-based fuel of any octane and even some alcohol-based fuel so euro for example kerosene, benzene, motor oil, tractor oil etc. A euro without the pre-combustion knock and the complete burning of the fuel inject into the cylinder. While development was well advanced by 1950, there is no records of the TCP engine being used commercially. 1950's development begins by U.S. firms of the free piston engine concept which is a crankless internal combustion engine. 1954 Felix Wankel's first working prototype DKM-54 of the Wankel engine, 1980 to present. 1986 Benz GmbH files for patent protection for a form of Scott yoke engine and begins development of same. Development subsequently abandoned. 2004 HyperX first scramjet to maintain altitude, 2004 Toyota Motor Corporation files for patent protection for new form of Scott yoke engine. 2014 Ford Motor Company files patent for compact turbine engine. Engine starting. Early internal combustion engines were started by hand cranking. Various types of starter motor were later developed. These included, an auxiliary petrol engine for starting a larger petrol or diesel engine. The Hux starter is an example, cartridge starters, such as the Kaufman engine starter, which used a device like a blank shotgun cartridge. These were popular for aircraft engines, pneumatic starters, hydraulic starters, electric starters, electric starters are now almost universal for small and medium-sized engines, while pneumatic starters are used for large engines. Modern versus historical piston engines, the first piston engines did not have compression, but ran on an air-fuel mixture sucked or blown in during the first part of the intake stroke. The most significant distinction between modern internal combustion engines and the early designs is the use of compression and, in particular, in cylinder compression. See also, Bertha Benz Memorial Route, commemorating the world's first long-distance journey with an automobile propelled by an internal combustion engine in 1888. Harry Ricardo, Timeline of Heat Engine Technology, Timeline of Motor Vehicle Brands, References Notes Further reading, Sloss, Robert. The Children of the Gas Engine. The Revolution in Speed and Inconvenience in Transportation, Automobiles, Motorcycles, Motorboats, Aeroplanes and Other Queer Craft That Ten Years Have Brought. The World's Work, A History of Our Time XXI, 13869 Euro 13877. Retrieved July 10, 2009 A.